revitalize the upper Avan Valley was launched in Glyn Korub today. A local cooperative with the aid of a Welsh office grant is hoping that the scheme to transform derelict land in the village will attract new investment and create jobs. It's been a long time since the people of Glyn Korug had cause for celebration. But today the village turned out to mark the start of what they hope will be a turning point in their history and halt the downward spiral. The last factory in the village closed two years ago, the last deep mine 20 years ago. The struggle, as I see it, has continued from 1970 when the pit closed. There you had 650 men rendered unemployed immediately. That left us with 85 employed people in the factory. A couple of years afterwards, the factory closed. 85 of those lost their jobs. So we were rendered really as the highest situation of unemployment in West Lamorgan. A strip of derelict land on the outskirts of the village could now prove its salvation. 1,500 people bought shares in a local cooperative to transform this land into a nature reserve. We've got three ponds to build. Each pond is about 200 yards long and varies between 20 and 100 yards wide. Uh, and it should be about two to three metres deep. Uh, after the six month period, we will then have a period where we'll have to landscape everything that's gone on and try and get all the uh, construction work into something which is more visually amenable. I'm sure they must have been thinking that, that we were just a, a talking shop, you know, and, and nothing was being done. But today, you know, things are moving. It was a slow, hard start, however, but the enthusiastic diggers didn't seem to mind. What do you think about this idea? It's good. There's nothing in the village. If people from the valley come up, they'll think it's a good place, and then they'll tell all their friends, and then everybody will come up here and do all the activities. As this is a view here, and now looking at the top end of uh, the Glencorog Valley. Um, it's a nice valley when you're looking up uh, from down here. So one way in, one way out, but uh, for saying that, it's a nice little valley. Uh, and this is then looking down at the bottom end of the valley, uh, going out to Glencorog, where the new ponds project is uh, just about to start. Well, I've started, actually. Uh, a lot of people thought that this wouldn't get off the ground, but uh, including myself, but... I'm glad to see it going ahead because it'll uh, fetch a bit of something into the valley anyway. Maybe it's only a couple of jobs for people who's running it. Um, I intend doing a, a progress report now on our, uh, on this as it as we go along and see the stages, you know, uh, as it's getting on from stage to stage, perhaps week by week or perhaps uh, you know less. This is uh, looking now um, uh, looking down off the main road which will be a lovely view of these pools when they, when they are done and um, I'm just about halfway of the, of the, of the thing here and uh, of course there's a view down then which they've started on that side uh, landscaping a little bit there and uh, of course uh, apparently there's one to go up this side of the river as well, one of the pools. Well, whatever can be done, there'll be improvement anyway. Um, this is another view of the valley, looking from bottom side, uh, where you see the bridge there, which is crossing the river, which on high rivers, uh, I've seen the bridge washed away from it before many times, uh, but that has been pretty permanent there now for many years. But uh, it looks a nice little valley, it'll improve it all, uh, you know, considerably, I think. Well, as I mentioned, uh, the scheme is on its way, and uh, they've moved, already moved some heavy earth moving equipment in here. This McAlpines have got the job, the look of it, which is a uh, well, good established firm. Shouldn't take them long to do this job, I don't think. Um, the valley uh, at the Kummer end, no, the entrance into to Kummer. Uh, of course, there's been a lot of landscaping done down here, and which have improved it uh, a hell of a lot because there were big one coal tips everywhere, and so they've improved that uh, part of it down there. 
So, of course, now they're working up the valley. Now, this is the type of thing they're hoping to draw to the valley is uh, CM now with his uh, falcon taking out for a bit of training. Hope they'll, you know, fetch some more wildlife to the valley. I'm standing on the bridge now uh, that's crossing the river, looking up the valley. It's uh, Sunday morning now and uh, the heavy machinery is still working on the sides here, so obviously they want to get it done quick. Have a look at it. Uh, good morning uh, from the Glencorrig Ponds uh, project. Um, there's not a lot to show this week, it's only another week from what I filmed last week. And uh, there's not a lot more been added to it really. There's a lot of earth moving to be done before you see anything coming of it I think. As I said, uh, you can see a small improvement but there's a lot of work involved because, they, as you see, they're transporting a lot of um, the rubbish now from down where the last project was on the side of the river down there. So there's a lot of work to be done before it's a, more of a build-up uh, than uh, a dig down. It's a pity they couldn't have seen uh, or foreseen this job because what's happening now they're undoing one job which was already completed uh, to take the earth to take the earth from here now up to uh, complete the, uh, the ponds project uh, they probably would have saved a lot more money if they could have combined the two but there uh, are things don't happen like that probably as you see, they've taken the earth from here now and transporting that up uh, to the ponds job, which is a lot more work, of course. As I said earlier on, there's not a lot more to show from uh, last week to this week. But, um, as I say, I'll try and keep you in touch from week to week, probably. And then we'll see a bit of progress in the job. Uh, anyway, this is Roger Phillips, the Ponds, Glyn Coral. Good afternoon. Um, you can see, as you can see, we've had some heavy rain this last week. And uh, of course the river has been in flood. Well, you can see the result of it there. I mean, most of the work they've done now is last uh, few weeks since I've uh, filmed before. Um, as I was saying, it's a few weeks since I filmed before, and uh, you can see the result of the flooded river. It have taken all that bank which they have built up over the last few weeks. Well, you can see it's taken it all away, so I mean, it's more or less start again there. Eh? So it's obvious they're going to have a lot of problems with this river, yeah, in flood. It's a pity, man, they didn't think of this before, you know. It's a pity they couldn't change the course of the river and just fetch it over to this side of it, like. Because I think they have some problems with the flooded river, yeah. So there's about three weeks work done there now since I was filming last. Well, as you can see, that that part has gone. So they've got to start again there or make some decision on what they're going to do. Now the top end here, uh, they haven't started digging out yet. 
Um, there's got a bit of drainage to be done before they do that, I think. They've got the pipes. They've got the pipes here now, and so I should imagine they lay the drainage before even digging out for the pool. It's a pity, man, uh, you know, to do all that work and then see it all go down the river. Probably should imagine you make a decision now on what they're going to do before they do any more building on that ground there. Eh? Because it's obvious they're going to have some problems with flooding here. Yeah? This river changed its course over a few years. It used to run over this side. Now it's gone back to the other side, you know, it... Uh, well, I'll try and keep you in touch as we go on with the progress. If any, <laughs> this is a Saturday afternoon, the 5th of December 1992. Uh, this, this little bridge here has been here now for a long time now compared to the, uh, a few others which are washed away. But of course it's starting to take its toll here now over the river. Look at it there, there's a concrete slab there. And you can see how it's breaking away from the bridge. That's broke away from the bridge, yeah, no, that'll go down the river on the next flood, probably. And then it could be the bridge again. This river is treacherous when it rises. To the, uh, to the start of the ponds project, or restart, uh, I think the last bit of filming I done was on um, the 12th, the 5th of the 12th, 92, I think. Well, uh, at least they've started back on it anyway now, uh, about a fortnight ago, in the middle of May it was. And, uh, well, they seem to have got it right this time, I don't know. I don't think they allowed for the flooding of the river last time. Uh, but this time at least they've cleaned out the river, which is going to help it, of course. And now they put this uh, retaining wall, as it is. Uh, it's what it is, mesh filled with uh, stones. But at least it's going to give it a bit more security for the river flowing over. And, um, well, they've got to complete these now before they uh, come on to put in the big stones and carry on with the, with the pond itself. At least I think they've started the right way this time. Let's hope they'll be here now till completion. See there what they've done, they, they've bedded in, they, they've dug a trench and bedded the first lot in. And now they'll probably put a, another lot on top of that again to get a bit of height on it. At least it'll tie in, retain the river when it is in flood. They've done it there and they, and of course they cleaned the river out. As you see, they banked it up on the sides now. And uh, of course they start in the same thing down here again. Digging out and uh, putting a bit of a retaining wall again. Well, as you can see, that, that, that's the idea there. They've dug a trench and then they've bedded the first lot in into the trench and now they'll put another lot on top of that and build up against it probably but it looks a bit more secure now than what it was last time they had no security at all last time it just river just run wild they've helped a lot by um, uh, cleaning the river out it'll give it a more you know more of a chance but anyway, you can see that's the first one up there, the first bar here, and this is the second one they put in here. You can see the profiles they got up there, they probably that's where the, the big stones are going for retaining the river. And of course they cleaned the river and banked it all up on the side here, which they use after, I suppose, against the walls. But it's all been cleaned out and hopefully now the, this will be a better job. Because obviously they didn't realise the pressure on this river. 
when he comes up in flood. You see on the bottom side of the bridge here, yeah, they've um, been planting some trees. Well, how long that'll last and with the kids, I know, but they've started pulling them down now. Or saying that the wind could have blown them down. But uh, if they have peace, it'll be looking nice on that bank then. They planted all the way down properly, and that is the bottom side of the, of the bridge. The original plan was to have one pool uh, that's below the football field up there and then with um, another two down this bottom side, one just there where I'm looking at now and, and the other one down here of course where they started that retaining wall there. Now if that's still the plan I don't know but at least it's going on again anyway. Anyway, this is Roger Phillips, uh, the, the Ponds, Saturday afternoon, the 5th of the 6th, 1993. Nice, good morning uh, from the pools, Klinkorog. Uh, the last time I filmed was on the 5th of June, and that was when they just started back after the floods. Um, I hope now this is uh, the go ahead now until it's finished. And you can see it taking place here now anyway, it's, you know, it's, it's looking good now. They've um, put the retaining walls in, um, which to, to retain the river in its course. And they've started um, banking up down there, down the bottom end there. Which is, you know, you can see things taking place here now. They've got that retaining wall right down along the river there, which is looking tidy now. That should retain the river anyway when in the flood, hopefully. And they've started digging there and they've made a ramp up. A ramp up there, so whether it's for to get down to the pools. And they've got the side uh, sidewalk there, whether it's for viewing or what, or just for access to the pools at the moment. As I say, you can see it, you know, um, coming into shape a bit now. And the weather's with them now, and all they can get out of tidy. They've started the, the dig on the top pool here. As I said, uh, the drainage is finished, but you see the end of it there. They put drainage in up here, this top end. And, uh, you know, you can really see it taking place now. I think it's a good idea. What they've done is to clean the river out as well. It'll give it a bit more, a bit more room to run because this river in flood is causes some problems. This is looking down the valley now, down towards uh, Kama, where you can see the bottom bridge there. And that is the stonework barrier they put right up along the river, you know, which is looking at least more secure. Now this is uh, looking halfway for the halfway of the job, looking up towards uh, the village. Uh, you can see that retaining wall better from this angle. It's a beautiful Sunday morning on the 27th of June. And this is where they've started ramping up here. Uh, probably to, to access to the pools or what, but uh, there will be one pool going in that area there, I should imagine. Plus the other, either one or two up above there. But you can really see it taking shape now. 
some of the workforce viewing their, uh, their work. They must have decided on a different method now to when they started the first time because there was a lot of earth moving involved. They were fetching a lot of earth from down the valley there and bringing it up and banking it up but uh, obviously they've taken a different course here now by putting this um, retaining wall in to keep the river in place which looks a better, more secure job anyway. At least they can do something behind that now. Anyway, we'll keep you in touch with it. At least you can see something coming of it now and uh, let's hope we'll, in the next few weeks we'll be better again. So in the meantime it's uh, back to work for the machines. So this is Roger Phillips signing off the ponds Dean Corrug. Well hello again from the ponds. It's uh, a Wednesday evening, nice evening and uh, I took this opportunity to do a bit of filming because they'll probably be closing up this uh, trench you see here now. They're doing this for drainage and um, as you can see it's uh, 12 minutes past 8 in the evening and they've opened the trench now right up there to put some drainage in. They got the pipes there ready to put in probably tomorrow and then they'll be back filling it again. And that is going right along down behind the retaining wall as well. You've got to do all this probably before digging for the actual ponds. Now they put a, I don't know whether it's a footpath then, right along the area where the ponds are going. As you see there, it's going right along the top of the which is uh, whether a, a walk, a walk uh, way or what, I don't know. But it does, it's at least it's looking, uh, looking like a bit of shape now, like. They started this walkway, uh, as I was saying, about right from the top end of there, and it's going right along the length. And they're doing a bit of landscaping as well on the on the bank there, which is looking a bit tidier, getting all the big stones out of it, and um, well, it's looking just tidy in the back end of the of the ground there, really. So I thought if I didn't film this little bit tonight now, it'll probably be backfilled by tomorrow. This. Uh, this pipe work here. Yeah. And you the pumps going here yeah, to keep the water down. Anyway, we keep you in touch with it as we go. Uh, of July, the last bit of film I had done. As you can see, it's the 1st of August now. And, um, well, they've really started going to town, you know, they, they, they're forming now. The sides, you can see profiles out here where they are banking up now, ready for to uh, make the depth in the pond work. You can see the size being banked up. And it's, uh, they've been taking earth out of the centre there now for, well, I think they're leaving the centre piece there, and uh, having water around it, by the look of it. But uh, at least you can see it taking shape again now, better. By the way, that's, this is going to be a, a large pond here, this bottom side, uh, bottom side of that ramp, which as I did before, the drainage was under that ramp there now. And uh, I think there's another one marked out for this top side, and the other at the top end there, which they've started digging out.
started doing some digging up that top end as well because I think that is where the top pool is going there either the first one, call it the top end from the first one or, or not, I don't know it's a Sunday afternoon, it is about quarter past three and a very bright afternoon We got a fair bit of rain this week uh, and uh, this river has seemed to cope with it pretty good now since uh, they've cleaned it out and that have done a lot of good visually. But they do look as if they're going to have a, a little uh, centre island or that one there and uh, because you see they've battered up the sides there now ready for the embattering sides there this week there. You can see the profiles there, where the outline of it's going to be. There's not much more to show you now on what I did last time really. Today. It's the start of August now as I say, I don't know, they got a Another say two months before they start going into a bit of bad weather, so how far are they gonna get Edward to up till then I don't know. Well this is Roger Phillips. Uh, it's a Saturday afternoon, the fourteenth of August as you see. And then from the ponds we're looking at this now, just filming this little bit to show that they've started covering the top of this one now with a polythene. And, uh, well, they do more towards it on this one than the rest. But uh, it seems to be taking a lot of shape, this one now. Anyway, keep her in touch. Roger Phillips, the ponds, Saturday afternoon. That's it for now. It's pretty good here now. You can see what's actually taking place here now. They put in this polythene down in the base of the pool. And then after they finish putting the polythene, they cover it over then with just light earth. So of course the bottom is protected then by this earth as you see there this is now coming to completion very near now They've cut, there's polythene under that earth there and uh, of course they're continuing down with it now to finish that one uh. it's a lovely uh, September afternoon it's, as you can see it's the 5th of September on the date there um, but uh, as I say, the, the centre one here is taking place as well now. They are transporting earth from down by uh, the bottom job there to fetch up to build up the banks on this one. And the top one is coming on well. They've uh, already covered most of it with polythene. Same as this uh, bottom side here. And uh, well, they've already completed that with polythene, so they'll probably be earth in that one now in the week. So it's looking good now. And as you see they're building up the ground there now for the centre one there. It's looking good now. Of course they're going to have to try and get all this done within the next month or so before the weather gets too bad. Uh, I don't know what way they've got to fill in these pools, whether there's piping going to them from the river or something, or the valves, I don't know. But at least you can see it taking shape now. You can see the profiles are out for that 
for the third one there. See the side up there, the profiles. And the third one, of course, as I say, the top one is coming on well. The top one here now. As you can see, they've uh, they've very near fitted all uh, the policy into the bottom of this one. Come on, well, this one, fair play. You can see the polythene has been laid now all by this little corner here. And then they'll probably be earthing it over then, the same as they did with the bottom one. But it's come on well this one. And of course this is the centre one here, which is going to be a small one as all. Well. You can see they've started building up here. Started building the side up as all. Well. Well, good afternoon from the ponds. Uh, as you see, it's the third of the tenth now. I think it was the fifth of the ninth I, uh, I filmed last, and they've done a hell of a lot since then. Uh, more or less coming to completion, I think. As you see, the top one here. Well, I would say it's just about finished. Just a matter of uh, touching up and filling with water. And the middle one down there which I thought would be a small one, but it seemed to turn out it's going to be the biggest of them. That's going to be very big, and a lot of depth in it. And the, the, the bottom one, as you see, is filling with water now. I don't know whether they're going to leave it go up full, full, or they're going to cover it with earth before filling it with water. Like. But as I say, uh, I can see another few weeks and uh, it'll be completed. And I see they put some um, some stanchions in there for... It looks as if they're going to have a footbridge. A footbridge across there to cross the river. I don't know if they've taken them far enough out from that river because otherwise in flood they'll be going down the river. But anyway, they, uh, they've done a hell of a lot of work in the last month. As I say, it's uh, more or less coming to the end, I think. It's just about to touching up a bit like. They've covered this one now with earth over the, um, over the, the plastic sheet in, but uh, I don't know if they're doing that with the others, I don't know. They haven't started doing it with that one. Uh, now the bottom one, and the bottom one is starting to fill with water. Uh, it'd be looking nice when it's all landscape and everything, I suppose. Anyway, there's not a lot more I can show you now. Um, keep you in touch anyway. Roger Phillips from the ponds. Tell you, there's a hell of a depth on this uh, centre one. You can see how much the sides are banked up there. Where it's going to be go oh, hell of a depth if that's full up. Especially in the middle of it. And they've started to put, um, well, uh, well, there's going to be an uh, overflow from that one there now. From the some centre one down to the bottom one. It'll look good when it's all landscaped and everything. Uh. But they've really gone to town uh, this last month on yeah. They made a, a good impression here, yeah, especially on this centre one. It didn't look nothing a month ago, but you can see it's, well, it's the biggest of them now. As I was saying, this one, they've covered all the plastic sheeting with earth. Well, down so far to there. Whether they're going to continue with it or not, I don't know, but uh, it's starting to fill with water anyway. It'll look nice this little valley, but yeah, now with all the uh, 
the pools and the trees planted around it probably that's what they intend doing they can keep the kids out of it and bloody stop ruining things yeah I don't know Anyway, keep you in touch. Fourth of the tenth. It was the third of the tenth, I think I filmed last. But um, well, it's really at completion point now. Uh, they're starting to earth both of these now. The bottom one. This is the bottom one you're looking at here now, uh, which is more or less completed. Part for the earthing of just the bottom end of it, and um, uh, the middle one uh, is just about complete. They're earthing the inside of that now, and um, as you see, all the surrounds have done nice now, and the walkway around the top is completed. Uh, there's, of course, the, but there, then you've got a like a waterfall effort overflow, it is, which goes from the the centre pool uh, down to the bottom pool. And the top one, well the top one is complete I think. It's been earthed and everything and it's just a matter of filling up that is. Uh, they're leaving it fill naturally I think. Because it's all been earthed and ready to fill up and it's started, well, it started filling. Just put in the finishing touches to things they are now I think. I don't know if they put in the bridge across, uh, I can see there's two stanchions being put either side of the river there for a crossing. It's a centre pool here, yeah. they marked something out on the ground there where there's a pipe to come out of there or something, there's, uh, there's markings on the ground there. I don't know if you can see it through this now, I don't know. But apart from that, uh, They've tidied up all the ground around now, it's looking tidy you now. I should imagine another week or a fortnight and it'll be all completed. It's just a matter of filling them up. I can see us doing a bit of ice skating here now in the winter. <laughs> this is a view now down right from the bottom end, looking up the valley. It's a very windy day today. It's nice but it's windy. Anyway, uh, keep you in touch. Down the valley now, from Glencore again, down towards Cummer. As you see, this top one here is definitely completed, and uh, this walk around is right. They're just leaving it fill naturally now, I think, out of the stream coming into it. I think there's a natural water stream coming in there somewhere. And it's filling up quietly now, that one. I don't know what that uh, is on the side there. They put some posts into the ground there, I don't know what it is really. Oh, it'll come to light I suppose in a few weeks. And of course the middle one now, the earth in that one up now. Oh, this, uh, another fortnight and I think this will be all complete. Just a matter of filling them up I think. Be looking nice then once it's all landscaped and everything. See all these iced up lovely for now for the winter. 
Well, good afternoon. Uh, this is Roger Phillips at the Ponds, and it's a Sunday afternoon, and it's the seventh of the length. It's a night quite mild afternoon, and uh, the ponds are coming on great, you know. I think it is Friday afternoon now. They've sprayed around these ponds with a green colour. Um, it, it could be a fertiliser, and it probably a um, grass grower. But it sets it off, it looks good. Probably help the grass to grow as well. But as you can see here, uh, there's, uh, there's not a lot to do here now. They're just tidying up around here now. There's um, a couple of docking stations to go in, in, uh, in the pools here. Like, there's one there now for a start, that's in the centre pool. And there's, and there's one in the bottom pool to go in. Uh, the top one is completed. Um, I'll get back up there after and show you exactly the docking station which is completed. Just a matter of filling that one I think it is now. But it's really looking nice here you now with all this um, tidying up they've been doing. I should imagine another fortnight and uh, they'll be ready to fill three of them. The bottom one here is just a matter of, um, as we said, the same type of thing as a docking station to go in there. And that's completed, I think. This is the camera side down here now. And then moving up through them, we'll go up through now, this is the bottom one. And there's a bit of a waterfall then, uh, from the, the centre one to the, the bottom one. And that's the biggest of them I think, or the deepest of them anyway, is the middle one. And then moving up to the top one. Which is, well, uh, completed I would say. Path of water. And there is a bridge, uh, well, uh, a crossing to go in there, across the river, which they have put um, the concrete bases in each side. It's just a matter of putting the bridge over. I don't know if that's going to be completed before the job is finished or what, or whether the money is available for it, I don't know. But it's really looking nice here now. See that better what I was talking about there now, which is a uh, it's going to be a little waterfall, I think, running from the center pool into the bottom one. Look, it'll look nice that way, probably with the water flowing from one to the other. And the walkways are looking nice all around them now, providing the bloody kids will leave everything alone now, and it'll be looking nice. Uh, this is the bottom end. I'll, I'll go up to the top end now and show a view right from the very top, the village side. Out into the middle of the pool to get the depth of water. Well, they want to use a boat from there or something, then they can do that probably. But uh, this one is completed here anyway. And of course, uh, you can see the stanchions there now for the bridge, which is one there. Crossing to the other side, which links up all the roads.
This one is starting to fill naturally anyway, I think itself. This is a view now looking from the village end down towards Kummer. And there was down here last and that was I think was um, the 6th I think it was or 7th of Sunday. Well you've started filling the middle one now you can see the water running in there but it's running from the river. So it's filling a lot quicker than the top one. Yeah, as you can see, it's half full now. It's got a good flow within this one. See, it's from the straight from the river. Now the top one is coming from a mountain stream which is not too good. Turned, uh, turned this in today from the river and you can, as you can see it's half full already this one. There's a quicker flow from the river into it. This is the centre pool now. The top one um, the top one is very slow filling. It is filling quietly, but uh, not so fast as that middle one. They've only turned that in today. This has been going in since last Thursday. And it's now Tuesday. It is coming up quietly, like, but uh, not that fast. But it's surprising how quick this one is filling. It was empty when I went to work this morning, but as you can see now, it's half full already. I suppose they'll only leave it get it up to so far because otherwise it's going to be running over into the bottom one, which they don't want to fill yet, I don't think. It looks nice when it's all full now and all of them full. Morning from the ponds in Glencoro. Um, the last time I filmed was on the 10th of the Lem, and uh, there wasn't well, it wasn't finished then. But um, it's now looking to be finished. It's the 8th of the first 94 now in the new year, and uh, it's looking to be completed now. Every they've taken all these sheds and things away, and uh, all the ponds are completed, and it's looking nice now. Starting to grass up a bit on the sides here. I think they tell me they've got some landscaping to do around here, and they've also got um, a bridge, a bridge to cross over, which they have not yet. And the bridge is going to go where you see the pillars in there cross from one side of the river to the other. I don't know if they've got enough money for that yet, but um, that's where the bridge will be going over. Uh, but for that, it's um, more or less completed. And it's looking nice now, it's all finished. This top pond haven't filled a lot. I think they're just leaving it filled naturally. But the, both of the others are, well, full out to the maximum, I think.
Now I don't know when the official opening of the ponds is going to be. They tell me it's going to be uh, in May. May this summer, so I don't know. By then, there should, should be a lot of grass grown over it and everything. It'll be looking nice, probably. Anyway, there's not a lot more I can show you now at the moment. Um, this is Roger Phillips from the ponds, a Saturday morning on the 8th of the 1st, 94. Good morning to you. It's tidy, the sun is gone now, tidy. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Huh? Where? There. I'm going along there now, right here. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I'm 
No, we're going to have to be
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for the beauty of all your creation. We give you thanks for the work of our hands. We give you thanks for all of those who have made this project a success. And we ask Heavenly Father to bless all of those who come to this place, that they might know your beauty and your peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'd just like to say a few words before we have the unveiling. This is a project which was built with the vision primarily of one man, our local doctor, Julian Hart, who can't be with us today. <coughs> but it was his vision that started it all off five years ago. And since then, we've had a host of people who've helped us uh, in the last five years with so many different things. And everyone who's helped us has attached themselves to this particular project. I'm not from this, this village myself. I've lived here for 11 years now, and I'm starting to know it a little bit. But I can, I can see, and I saw from the very first day that I arrived here, which is a day very much like today, what a beautiful valley it was, and what a beautiful village it was. It is a unique setting which we have tried to improve. I'm very happy to welcome the Under Secretary of State, because the Welsh office were the people who allowed us to move with this project and those who gave us the assistance from the staff are glad to see you today. I'm also very glad to welcome the Mayor, Councillor Roy Jones of Neath Port Talbot because we've had so much association with Port Talbot. We've had terrific help from both these agencies and I'd like that to be very strongly recognised. So I'm glad that they're here to celebrate what is now our vision, our vision of the future. And it's especially a project for young people. This is a young project and it's, it's here for young people to take advantage of and I hope that they do. We want them to learn to know what it is that they enjoy doing. As you grow up, <coughs> you will find it very important that if you've identified very early on what it is that you like doing, then you can go on later in your life and develop those interests, meet lots of people in lots of different places. And if you start canoeing with us now or fishing, you will find later on when you get older that you can visit the many beautiful rivers of Wales, even around the world, <coughs> meeting people like yourselves who are interested in the kind of activities which we are providing on the pond. So I hope that you can take advantage of these resources and take advantage of them in a serious way and really develop a huge interest. Because now's the time to do it when you're at home and you've got the time. So it's very much for you people to take advantage of our project. We still have a long way to go. We are intending to build a caravan site next door to us in the, in the space on that side of the factory and uh, we think that we have the money. We're not absolutely sure, but we think we have it. And the, the Ford Trust have been generous in providing us with much of that money. Ford have provided a huge help to us as well in providing us with a workforce whilst their own uh, car line goes through a transition stage. They've helped us enormously with our project. So this site now is expected to change. Now we've planted the trees, we've landscaped it. It might look a little bit like it's a, a very young site, a new site. We hope over the next 20 years when the trees grow up and the bushes grow, then everything will fit into place. It is a developing project. As you get older, so the project will get older. And we hope it will look more and more beautiful. I just wish we started this 20 years ago. And that's all that I wish to say. Um, I'd like a few words from uh, Councillor Roy Jones. Minister, welcome once again to the beautiful valley, uh, the Adam Valley, and um, you 
you may not know this, but I followed this project pretty uh, closely over many, many years, and I recollect that the first application for grand aid was to Mr. David Hunt, who was the then Secretary of State of Will, and I think they told someone about 477,000 pounds. And I'm glad that uh, we supported it, I'm glad the Borough Council supported it, and put out of it especially. I'm also very pleased, uh, Minister, that the Rock Office supported it, and I'm sure you've been highly impressed by what you've seen, seen this morning. Uh, I know that you mentioned the fact that there's a continuity to this program, and when you talk about things like that, you're always talking about one fact there. You're always talking about the goodwill of people, and the people who've been borrowed have been marvelous because they're shareholders here. But you're also talking about other people. You're always talking about money, you want money. I only heard that, but it's there. They want bigger grants, larger grants to project this. To, to the final, uh, the finality that they'd like to see it in the Appen Valley here. I don't know, the people who drove up this valley this morning, I've always said, there's no better valley than the Appen Valley. It's a beautiful place, a marvelous place. And uh, to come into Lynn Coral and see what you see, and you come along, drive along the public highway now and see what you saw this morning, and it's, uh, I, it's highly encouraging and it's gratifying. Yeah, Everyone has uh, been concerned with it. I hope you get all the time you want. And that uh, it was one of the strengths of them. And it will be remembered as a success story for the Adam Valley. Thank you very much. I'd just like to thank the Link Road Primary School for their singing. Which we <laughs> We also have here uh, a strong representation from Come Out Adam Comprehensive, who've done all the catering on their own. They've done the whole thing, which we will be enjoying later. Uh, they've also put up displays to tell people what the Lincoln is about, what the, what the project, uh, how that's developed. And I ask you to go around and look at the various displays uh, that are in various parts of this visitor centre. And I'd now like to ask the Under Secretary of State to unveil the package. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Mr. Harlan, Mr. Mayor, fellow guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before I unveil that part, can I just take the opportunity of saying how impressed I am by everything I've seen here so far. And I know I haven't seen much yet. I was impressed as I drove along and I looked down on the ponds and the wonderful splash of colour of the canoes on the lakes. I could tend to picture the transformation that has happened here. Coming inside here, I certainly didn't expect to see this layout, which is most unusual and most striking. It all tends well for the future. The impression overall, above all I have, is of all the hard work that must have gone in to bring about what we see today. And I know that there's been professional activity contractors, but above all, there will have been the voluntary effort of the Glencora Cooperative, and I'm sure that that covers the whole spectrum from inspiration through to perspiration. And we all must have cause to appreciate what has been done here. And I have some uh, delightful parts of my job, and truly this is one of them, because I think it encapsulates in what you were saying, Mr. Mayor, of demonstrating what needs to be done and what can be done, and what better encouragement is there to go forward. I've uh, taken some interest over the years in this one. I know some of the frustrations that uh, perhaps we would have had this opening ceremony a little earlier except for a combination of circumstances. I understand the uh, effects of the flooding, I think it was 1992, and uh, what that meant here, and uh, then at a more recent stage when one of the ponds was found to need some uh, urgent strengthening, and uh, the problems that must have meant for everyone involved here. It has presented itself as an important one, indeed to the point that I'm glad the Welsh Office has been able to support it with some £600,000, and that's out of a budget for the Community Revival Strategy of two and a half million, so I think that rightly places the priority on this uh, strategy here. And can I just, uh, I was looking up um, <coughs> the, uh, the opening words of the bid 
for this one. Glencoro has two problems. Too much rain and not enough chops. This is a project to turn rain into chops. How could we resist with such an enticing invitation there? Clearly, we were rightly enticed, and I'm sure it is most worthwhile. It's the most worthwhile way of spending the money. I'm pleased to be here. I do want to say thank you to everyone who's worked so hard, and I'm sure we'll continue to work hard. Um, invidious to signal out particular people, um, but I think thanks do go to every member of the cooperative, to you, Mr. Harland, to Mr. Acterson, and uh, the person who very much has conveyed her infectious enthusiasm this morning, uh, Mrs. Richards. And may I also add most sincere congratulations on a very well-deserved award of the MBE of the South. begun, I'm sure will be very lasting and very worthwhile for the future, and I offer you my very best wishes, as well as my profound thanks for the opportunity to participate in this official opening. With that, I will unveil the part, if I can find on this way.